Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's um, a special pleasure to receive uh, my colleague and, and friend, the uh, Foreign Minister of South Africa, and Lady Pandor. Uh, this is just a very uh, small way to return um, the extraordinary hospitality that uh, the Foreign Minister showed uh, to me and our team when we visited South Africa uh, over the summer and uh, had uh, what I thought was a extremely uh, productive and positive visit. Um, it's also an opportunity for us to uh, compare notes ahead of the meeting uh, between President Ramaphosa and President Biden uh, tomorrow, something President Biden very much uh, looks forward to. Um, this partnership between our countries is more vital uh, than it's ever been. Together, uh, we are tackling some of the most important uh, challenges, not only faced by our citizens, but people uh, around the world. Everything from global health uh, to uh, climate change uh, to the need for uh, building uh, resilient uh, economies coming back from, uh, from COVID. Uh, we had an extremely uh, productive, renewed strategic dialogue. I think this is an opportunity for us to um, look at the work that's been done since we met uh, because we were both very determined that um, we actually move forward in very practical ways and show that we're delivering uh, results, so we'll take uh, account of that. There are a number of uh, uh, challenging regional issues that uh, we'll have an opportunity to, uh, to talk about, and we'll both uh, be heading to uh, the United Nations for um, the General Assembly and High Level Week, and I very much look forward to continuing the conversation we started about uh, how we see the shared uh, future for the UN uh, for multilateralism, something we both attach tremendous importance to. So, lady, welcome. It's great to have you, and as I said, to just in a very small way return some of the uh, incredible generosity that you showed to me and our team uh, in South Africa. Welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary Blinken and the team. Um, it's a really fantastic privilege for me to be hosted uh, by you uh, in your wonderful country, and we're really thrilled that President Ramaphosa has been invited by President Biden to have bilateral uh, discussions on issues of common interest. I'm sure uh, that they're going to spend time uh, talking about the wonderful strategy that you unveiled uh, in Pretoria uh, concerning uh, the plans and priorities with respect to Sub-Saharan Africa. I really believe that uh, our leaders will help us get to some detail uh, with respect to that strategy and I'm, I'm looking forward to the outcome uh, of their deliberations. Um, we had wonderful and very detailed discussions uh, in South Africa, and I was able to report on a number of matters to you, one of which uh, I'd like to just briefly refer to now, and that is the Kingdom of Lesotho. You'd recall that we were concerned um, that they had not finalized the necessary legislation that would create a new platform uh, for the election of a parliament in October mm -hmm. this year. I'm really thrilled that they finally settled the matter and the necessary legislation has been passed and we're looking forward to a stable, uh, a secure, democratic kingdom of Lesotho post October's uh, election. So that's one piece of good news. On the other matters, we haven't moved uh, as far as uh, we had hoped, but this is really, I think, uh, progress. Um, you know that uh, all of us are battered by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And I've been uh, very, very open about the value we attach to the trade and economic relationship between South Africa and the United States of America. And it's a relationship I hope uh, we will see uh, grow from strength to strength. I'm especially happy that at the level of tourism, we are seeing increased yes. numbers between both countries. Mm -hmm. I traveled on United uh, Airlines and it was a very good experience. So I, I can report that, but I really uh, am pleased that uh, our tourist sector, tourism mm -hmm. sector in South Africa is reporting very positive uh, numbers and uh, capacity of hotels and guest houses mm -hmm. for the summer period uh, in South Africa. This is uh, hopefully going to be a strong boost uh, to our rather faltering economy uh, we are experiencing high inflation, as many countries are, uh, and many other challenges that we must address. But uh, having said that, 
let me pause by saying uh, I'm really thrilled to be here. Never been invited to the State Department, never been a Minister of International Relations, so wonderful uh, to be in this room and uh, to share a few moments with you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.